Oh, good job. Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. Um. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. We will now hear the statements présent, of sufferings and hands or impact by a civil party. That is TCCP 13, and the testimony will be heard through a widow link. Le préjudice qu'elle a subi et les souffrances qu'elle a endurées. Cette déposition se fera par and, uh, vidéoconférence. Due to the establishment of the video link, we were a bit uh, late. La mise en place de la connexion nous a quelque peu retardé. There is, uh, we are actually 15 minutes behind the schedule. Nous avons schedule. pris 15 minutes de retard. Hello, Madame Civil Party. Bonjour, Is your name Madame Cheng Eng Li. Vous appelez-vous Cheng Eng Li? Once again, hello, Madame Civil Party. Is your name Cheng Eng Li? Vous appelez-vous Cheng Eng Li? Madame Civil Party, can you hear me? Madame, est-ce que vous m'entendez? Réponse. Yes, oui, I je can vous entends bien. Thank you. Question. Vous appelez-vous Cheng Eng Li? Li? Réponse. Answer. Effectivement, yes. Monsieur le Président. Question. Merci, Madame Eng Li. Question. How old Quel are you? Avez-vous? Answer. Réponse. I am 60 years old. Question. Merci, Madame Eng Li. Question. Where were Quel est born? votre euh, lieu de naissance Answer. I was born in Phnom Penh. Réponse. Je suis né à Phnom Penh. Question. Where is your current Question. address Où résidez-vous actuellement Answer. I Réponse. live in Paris. Je vis à Paris. I live at number 19 at Rue de l'Étang de la Tour. Au numéro 19 de la rue de l'étang de la tour à Rambouillet. Question. What Question. is your current occupation? Quel est votre métier actuel? I live in Paris. Réponse. J'habite. Question. À Paris. Can you Question. tell us your mother's and father's names? Quel est le nom de vos parents? Answer. Réponse. My father is Cheng Seng Kao. He Mon passed père, away. Cheng Seng Kao. Il est décédé. Question and Question. your mother's name. Et votre mère. President, Madame, Madame Cheng Eng Li, can you hear me? What is your mother's name? Quel est le nom de votre mère?
Pour ce qui est le président, Madame quel est le nom de votre mère Réponse. Et son nom est Sok-Eng. Elle est décédée également. 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 Question. Question. What is your husband's name and how many children do you have? Votre mari et combien d'enfants avez-vous? His name is Chai Hok Hei. We have five children Chai together. Réponse. Chai Hok Hei. Nous avons cinq enfants. Thank you, Madame Chen Eng Li, as a civil party before this court. En tant que partie civile, the trial chamber will give you an opportunity. Vous aurez l'occasion de faire une déclaration sur les souffrances que vous avez vécues et sur le préjudice que vous avez subi sur le plan matériel, physique et psychologique en conséquence directes that occurred des crimes and which led you to become a civil party in this case poussé à vous constituer accusés, crimes allégués, reprochés aux accusés, Kyo Sampan et Nguyen Chia, and which occurred under the Khmer Rouge regime from the 17th April 1975 through the 6th January 1979. Je vous en prie. Vous avez la parole. From the 17th April 1975, there is no need for me to tell everyone. Everybody knows the Cambodian people who were evacuated from Phnom Penh. Cambodians who have been evacuated from Phnom Penh. President, we would like to inform the parties and the public that there are some technical problems with the establishment of the video link to France. La liaison avec la France fonctionne mal.
President. Le Président. We have problem with the internet connection. La connexion internet And we ne may fonctionne need to pas. Wait for another five minutes. Nous aurons peut-être à attendre encore cinq minutes. And we need to wait until the internet connection Il is faudra uh, attendre que l'on rétablisse la connexion à l'internet.
Nous attendons depuis un certain temps et la connexion Internet n'a pas été rétablie. Les juges ont délibéré et ont décidé de passer à la déposition d'une autre partie civile. TCCP 198. Les services techniques tenteront entre-temps de rétablir la connexion Internet et le problème technique sera pourront entendre la partie civile numéro 13 et ce, après la déposition de la partie civile TCCP 198. Huissier d'audience, veuillez faire entrer cette partie civile dans le prétoire. Le président. président. Good afternoon, Bonjour, Madame Civil Party. What is your name? Réponse. Civil Party. Hu My name is Hu Chan Tha. I was born at the Kampung Sang village, Kampung Sang commune, Bap Nom district in Preveng province. District de at the moment, I reside in Kandal province. Je vis Aujourd'hui, dans la province de Kandal. Thank you. Question. Le président. How old are you and what is Merci. your current quel occupation? Quel âge avez-vous et quel est votre métier actuel? Answer. Réponse. I'm a small merchant. Je suis une petite commerçante. At the moment, I live at my husband's village in Je vis Pogre dans Sey. le village de Question. mon mari, Question. How old are Pogre you? Question. Quel âge avez-vous? Madame Chanta, please observe Madame a slight pause Chantha, until you see the red light on the, your veuillez microphone. attendre que le voyant du micro s'allume pour répondre. Before you speak, so that your voice will go through Ainsi, the uh, distribution system, votre voix in particular to the interpretation system, yes, your statement will be simultaneously interpreted into English and French. Qui traduiront vos propos simultanément Please respond to my last en anglais question. How old are et you? en français. Je répète ma question. Quel âge avez-vous Réponse. I am 60 years old. 60 ans. Question. What question. is your mother's name and your father's name Comment s'appellent vos parents Answer. Réponse. My father's name is Hu Hang. Mon père s'appelle Hu Hang. And my mother's name is Et Kao ma Ngao. Kao Ngao. Her native village was also from Kampung Sang. Elle est aussi originaire de Question. Kampung Sang. And what is your husband's Question. name and how many Comment children do you have? Comment s'appelle votre mari? Combien d'enfants avez-vous? Answer. Réponse. My husband's name Mon is... Mari s'appelle Thun Saem. Thun Saem. He is a teacher and we have five children. Nous avons cinq enfants. Thank you, Madame Hu Chantha. As a civil party before this court, en tant que partie civile, the chamber will give you an opportunity to make your statement of suffering, your impact or impact. 
et sur le préjudice que vous avez subi sur le plan matériel, psychologique et physique which are the direct result of the crimes direct that occurred and which led you to become a civil party and which are accused against the true accused that is known to be an case of porn and which occurred during the period of the Mokotik Kampuchea that is from the 17th April 1975 to the 6th of January 1979. Ou 6 janvier 1979. La parole est à vous. Ma réponse à la civile. Hybrid tribunal. Je salue ce tribunal hybride. President interrupts. Please wait. I notice your counsel is on her feet. Je vois que votre avocate s'est levée. You may proceed, counsel. Je vous en prie, maître. Thank you, Mr. President, and good afternoon, Mr. President, your honors, and everyone in the Arantxa courtroom. My client wishes to read her statement describing the suffering that she experienced during the Democratic Kampuchi and the loss of her parents and relatives. Notamment la perte and the document has been prepared by my client herself before her appearance. And avant if de the venir time déposer. remains, after the conclusion of her reading of the Après statement, I have some lecture, questions for si her. Temps, à lui poser. And uh, finally, Mr. President, at the conclusion of her reading of her statement, à she has uh, some questions lecture, for the accused. And I seek your permission for my clients to read the statement and to put the questions through you to the accused. President, yes, you may do so. Civil party, you may proceed. Par l'intermédiaire du président, le président, je vous en prie, allez-y, madame. Civil party. La partie civile. First of all, allow me to express my gratitude to this hybrid tribunal tribunal so that I can express my sufferings through the bitter episode of my life under the Khmer Rouge regime and which its remnant effect of misery is still existing for my children, for myself. Under the, Khmer, under the Lono regime, my family was of a rather wealthy status as they had a grocery shop in Kampung Sang Market. I am the fourth child of the nine siblings. My other three siblings are married and they were the public servants of the Lunar regime. They had their plots of land, their houses, motorbikes, and some valuable jewelry in Phnom Penh. In 1972, I got married and then I came to live on my mother-in-law's site near Kabal Monchai Market. At that time, my husband was a teacher and our living condition was rather wealthy as we had a motorbike, some jewelry, and we had our own house. The situation back then was not as difficult as uh, now. At that time, I did not know what hardship meant. On the 16th of April 1975, which was the last day of the Lunar regime, the sounds of gunshots and fires from the Pochentong site and around Phnom Penh kept occurring from dusk to dawn. And at 8 a.m. on the 17th April of the same year, some of my neighbors uh, were standing raising a white flag. Le matin du 7 avril, j'ai vu mes voisins so agiter un drapeau. Uh, our family, we shouted that the war is now ended and the on peace has been returned. La guerre est terminée, la paix est revenue. At that time, the black-clad Khmer Rouge soldiers who were rather young were walking in line on the street. En fil indienne dans la rue. But they did not welcome our applaud. 
mais ils, ils ne semblaient they pas were apprécier nos applaudissements. Ils étaient their, silencieux. They had this firm facial expression. Il y avait les the happiness did not last long fermes. because en fait, the these uh, black-clad soldiers who were carrying weapons shouted to us. On criait, you must leave the city now as they need to sweep clean the city for three days. We left along Pokentong Road. Nous the situation le was le rather confusing for my family as we didn't know what to take and what not. Nous ne pas quoi avec the Khmerus kept threatening us, you must leave immediately. Vous devez and they also fired some shots into the Ils air to threaten us. An anticipated situation caused us confusion and we were scared. Cette situation était I was dizzy, I was trembled. Peur. I could not think of je anything tremblais, else. Je ne pouvais penser rien As I could not carry all the belongings, I je ne pas was a, transporter afraid les of leaving my valuable things behind. As I was afraid that we would not be returned. And I was afraid that I would be separated from my parents. Along the road, I saw people crowded along the road. Some were driving their vehicles slowly, some were driving their motorbikes, some were walking their bikes, some were carrying stuff on their shoulder and on their head. The situation was miserable. Some people had the trip on their hand. And some women who just delivered the babies were forced to walk under the open eye, the open sky, and the rain. Some disabled people, old and young people, they were exhausted. Young children were crying because of their defeat pain. And along the road, I saw the corpses of the soldiers dying and scattering. It was a pitiful situation. When we got to Tonal Kind, uh, we uh, looked for a place uh, to prepare our food. Uh, we went out uh, to collect water. Some of us were preparing uh, for our dinner. That was the first night. I met a very unfortunate thing, the most unfortunate thing in my life that I had never experienced. I slept uh, on uh, the road. Uh, at that time, I did not have any uh, mat. Uh, I slept uh, directly on the uh, ground. I thought to myself uh, why uh, I had to uh, sleep uh, on the ground uh, like this. And I was uh, thinking up to myself as to when I would be able to return uh, back to my original uh, state of living condition. I thought. Uh, uh, at first, uh, that uh, peace would prevail, but unfortunately, things turned uh, uh, completely different. On that uh, evening, I heard uh, rumors that uh, people, uh, they abolished uh, currency or bank note. I wonder if we uh, did not use uh, bank note, how could we uh, buy uh, food stuff and what would happen to my saving that I had uh, spent my life uh, uh, saving it? Uh, would then it be uh, a waste at all? Uh, I had tried to keep uh, my uh, bank note, but it turned out to be useless. The next morning, I rented a boat in order to cross a river to the other side of the river bank. I saw a crowd of people walking from different directions. When I got uh, uh, there, I continued walking uh, on foot. Uh, I w uh, reached a pond. When as soon as we got to the pond, everyone was desperate for uh, the water uh, because they had been tired, they had been thirsty, uh, they had walked under the sunlight uh, the whole day. Then I um, uh, decided to drink uh, the contaminated water, the water that uh, sting, the water that uh, smelled terrible, but I could not have but drink uh, the water from the pond. And the next morning, we continue our journey until uh, uh, we uh, actually spent uh, a total of 15 days to reach Pokrusei uh, village. When we got there, uh, my uh, 
parents' uh, village uh, house were Lorsque actually uh, abundant, and uh, we did not have any Nous shelter. Uh, in the at night, uh, we took shelters under okay. one. Uh, roof without uh, any wall at all. And at that night, uh, it rained very heavily. Uh, there were uh, storm and lightning. We were very frightened. And the next morning, we did not even meet uh, uh, the village chief or anyone who came to uh, prepare any shelter for us. Our family member tried to find uh, other staff uh, necessary to build a small uh, hut in order to uh, take shelter. But less than two days when we got there, we were summoned for a meeting. During that meeting, they told us the uh, unit chief, and we were supposed to report to the unit chief uh, uh, whatever the unit chief assigned us to do, we had to do. We could not resist or, or protest. So it was in uh, June 1975. My family, uh, that day, uh, we did not yet have uh, our... Uh, dinners. My uh, brother-in-law, 27 years of age, uh, he had just had uh, a bath and then uh, he was about to have his dinners and he saw two youth uh, call him. Uh, they said, son, uh, come to, uh, with me for a meeting. And my brother-in-law did not yet have uh, his dinner. He followed uh, the two uh, men. Uh, and from that day onward, I never uh, saw jour, his face. Um, the life was completely miserable. We uh, actually uh, stayed there and Some without many things in life. At that time, the 17th April, uh, people who were staying in uh, Pukrisai village uh, ran out of their food uh, stock. Uh, and uh, one day, the unit, uh, unit chief uh, gave us around five kilos of uh, rice. But uh, the rice actually was uh, almost a spoiled uh, husk rice, which smelled uh, terrible. But that was the only uh, times they gave us uh, uh, rice. Uh, our some of our family members brought along with uh, uh, some belongings, for example, jewelry or watch. Uh, we uh, exchanged uh, them for some uh, food stuff uh, to feed ourselves. But our situation only got worse because every day we had to uh, go without uh, enough food to eat. Uh, we had to uh, pick a uh, while plant and other stuff nearby uh, the place we stay uh, to eat uh, in the place of rice at that time. So we had to uh, endure that suffering until we, uh, until the times when we harvested uh, rice, uh, at that time we were given approximately 20 grams of uh, husk rice. And then uh, when this season was over, uh, they actually only provided us a few ladles of uh, watery rice uh, for us. We had stayed there and served Anka for three years, eight months, and 20 days. First, uh, they assigned me to to harvest uh, rice crops. I did not even have a uh, uh, slipper uh, to wear. My soul was actually uh, burnt because I walked uh, barefooted uh, for uh, days and months. And I was actually scolded. I was um, blamed uh, that I uh, was the 17 April people. I did not have uh, the sense of struggle Et que je pas la de lutte. the next day uh, they assigned me to harvest Le cot in the river and uh, it was uh, in, in the pond, and actually it was better because I was barefooted, but unfortunately I saw Liches, and I was very frightened. People from Phnom Penh, like me, I uh, never seen such an insect, and I was very frightened. But I could not uh, come up because. Uh, 
I was assigned to do the job, and I was also assigned to mine cattle uh, as well. And never had I done that before, and I was afraid of uh, uh, bulls uh, as well. I was afraid of it. Uh, attacking me. One day I was attacked by bulls, and, but fortunately I was saved by people who were there at me. And I was also assigned to also uh, pick morning glories as well. So I was assigned to do all kinds of work uh, without any free time at all for the day. And I had to feed uh, pork. Uh, I had to uh, feed a pig as well, uh, but never had we given pork uh, to eat, even those we raised uh, by ourselves. Même si on pas, uh, my reçu de de porc à I delivered uh, my baby. Uh, I were not allowed to uh, take any maternity leave at all. I had to work. I had to follow their order. When uh, my uh, child was around four months uh, of age, uh, I was asked uh, to um, prepare fish, uh, dry fish. And then when uh, my uh, child was about six months old, I was um, assigned uh, to work uh, very hard. Uh, they did not allow us to be uh, free even if we had just delivered the baby. At times, they asked us to uh, uh, transplant rice for many hours before we were allowed to come back home to breastfeed our kids. From 11 until 5, uh, one day they assigned me to feed uh, pigs. And the uh, person who was in charge of pig raising, he was uh, very aggressive and he was not kind to me. Uh, he uh, blamed me uh, why I carry only half a bucket of uh, pig feed. Uh, one day he pushed me into the a uh, pig cage, jour, and I was covered uh, with uh, pig waste all over my body. This was the suffering I uh, had encountered. I was uh, discriminated uh, against uh, because I was accused of the 17 April people, and my uh, physical strength uh, diminished uh, by day by day because I did not have anything uh, to eat. Uh, as for my uh, husband, uh, he was assigned with uh, a pair of ox, and every day when he came back home, uh, he was very exhausted. Uh, he would lean against the wall for a while before he went uh, for a bus and had a dinner. At that time, I uh, was uh, very pitiful for my uh, husband. In 1978, uh, he was not assigned uh, to uh, plow the field. Uh, he was assigned to carry earth uh, very far from home. My husband uh, was a, a person from a descent family in the city. He was not uh, someone who could uh, do that hard labor job, uh, uh, but he was made uh, to do it. Uh, he overworked, and because of this uh, overworked, uh, he uh, suffered uh, from uh, a problem with his uh, heart. Il we had uh, encountered these uh, sufferings. We every day uh, sought of our family members uh, 
living condition. We were very uh, desperate every day and night uh, of our family member, and we thought to ourselves why this regime uh, inflicted torture against the people. Why didn't they allow people to have sufficient uh, food to eat, uh, just rice to eat, because we had harvested uh, crops, and we uh, know that uh, the rice year was uh, plentiful. People should have had enough food to eat, and why didn't they provide a sufficient medicine uh, for the patient? They only provide the rapid dunk uh, medicine uh, for them uh, to, to take whenever they seek. So, uh, some of my uh, family members were summoned to a meeting. Uh, they, they told us that uh, they would uh, go for training, uh, for edu education, but then these people never returned uh, home. They killed the officials, the civil servants of the Lonnol administration, and we were questioning uh, uh, to ourselves, why uh, this uh, regime killed a former uh, official? We wanted to know uh, who the leaders of this regime were, and we, want, we wanted to know who uh, the leader was and what nationality they were. These were the questions we had in our minds all the time following the day of work. I always uh, thought to myself as to who led this organization, who led this regime. So when the 17 uh, of the uh, seven of April 1979 uh, uh, arrived, I uh, was very happy. I thought that I would be able to uh, look for my uh, parents. Uh, at that time, uh, my second uh, child was just born, and I uh, had to sell about six chickens I had raised in order to uh, have some pocket money to uh, go and look for my family members. We packed our food. Uh, when I reached Stung Sloat, um, my heart beat uh, got faster, and I uh, thought to myself whether or not my family members uh, had been killed during the regime, and if that was the case, and how uh, would I uh, stand uh, this uh, fact uh, if I later discover it? So I uh, met my former village uh, neighbor. I, uh, he told me that I uh, go to the small hut. Actually, uh, the Nyep uh, told, came to me, and he hugged me, and he told me that my mothers and my five siblings were executed during the regime. My mother was executed uh, on the accusation that uh, she had in her possession uh, a lot of gold. And so they uh, took her for execution. Upon hearing this uh, sad news, uh, I was stunned. I uh, could not say anything. And the next morning when I woke up, I wanted to uh, die. I really want to follow them, but I heard the uh, crying of my uh, small baby so I had to I had to leave I told myself that I had to leave uh, for my for my uh, innocent baby I would like to tell the court that I am the fourth uh, child in my family, and I am only the only survivor of poor family of the nine siblings. My uh, grandparents, my parents, and other uh, relatives, 22 of them all together, uh, die uh, due to diseases, uh, starvation, uh, and other causes. As for my uh, and calls uh, by the name of Kok in Kienswai. He was asked uh, to do the work in the forest and he stepped on the landmine. Uh, he was killed and uh, his four kids uh, 
were parentless, uh, fatherless from that time onward. And my other relatives were forced uh, to work uh, extremely hard. And one day, uh, he suffered from uh, diarrhea or cholera. And then uh, he died. Uh, he left behind six children to date. As for my brother, Huhani, he was the uh, aviation uh, soldier. Before 1975, he was um, dispatched to Thailand for uh, training. And following the appeal of uh, Ying Sari uh, for the intellectual to return to the country to rebuild uh, Cambodia, he decided to return. And uh, he did not uh, have a chance to meet with his family member mm -hmm. upon his return. He was arrested by the Khmer Rouge and he was later executed. Uh, he left behind many children. And my second brother, Hu Kim, uh, before the 17th of April 1975, uh, they live in Mon Chai uh, market. Uh, and then uh, they were evacuated to Prevain province. My uh, sister-in-law was four months pregnant. And their uh, par parent-in-law uh, and other uh, relatives were asked to stand in the queue, famille, and then they were killed with the hoe one after another. When my brother, who learned uh, that uh, his wife and relatives lui, were uh, killed, uh, he uh, grabs a knife uh, to uh, look for uh, the murderers. And then he was uh, looking for the uh, murderers. And then uh, the people who killed uh, his relative uh, came out, and then they were fighting Et with one another. At that time, my brother-in-law were killed uh, by the Khmer Rouge, and eventually he died, and he was gone forever. And my third uh, brother, uh, before the 17th of April 1975, he was a teacher in Phnom Penh on the 17th of April 1975. His family was uh, evacuated to uh, Long Chen, the Khmer. Uh, he was accused of uh, possessing uh, valuable belongings. Uh, he did not agree to seize this belonging for a communal use. And then uh, uh, he, his, uh, the husband was taken away for execution, and um, the wife of my brothers begged uh, them for uh, mercy. Uh, they, want, uh, they begged them not to kill uh, her husband because uh, they have four uh, small children uh, behind, but they did not listen. They were uh, merciless. They killed, they killed the husband and uh, the wife. Uh, they died uh, together. They killed uh, them. Uh, as for my mother, my mother was accused of possessing valuable belonging, namely gold, and uh, she was accused not of not uh, putting this uh, valuable belonging for the uh, cooperatives' uh, use. My mother was taken to kilometer number six, and she uh, was uh, detained, and she was very hungry. She uh, could not bear it, and then she decided to uh, escape from the detention center. And we, uh, she came to meet with her uh, children, and then the Khmer Rouge uh, soldier, people from the uh, detention center, found them, and they arrested them and killed them instantly. Six of them were killed in one instance or at the time. It was a horrifying uh, experience. This was sorrowful and very, very horrifying. I cannot put this in words.
je ne saurais le décrire. Who were the leaders of this regime? Why did they allow Khmer to kill Khmer? Les dirigeants de ce régime, comment ont-ils pu permettre que des Khmer tuent des Khmer? I was despaired. J'étais désespéré. I find that I was useless. I had no family members. My parents were all gone. I look at everything around me. Everything was meaningless for me. My life is completely meaningless. And I have my husband and two children uh, who mais support me every time et mes deux and enfants me uh, soon after my husband uh, suffered uh, from a chronic Puis disease because uh, of the hard work and his situation his uh, condition got worse et and I sent her to a de santé doctor and then uh, they, the doctor said my médecin, husband was suffering from a heart problem and at that time I got even more cardiaque. hopeless for my life I became completely despaired I did not want to live uh, anymore and I have the wrath of this regime. My husband tried uh, to uh, teach and I had to uh, sew clothes and raise pigs in order to save money to send him for a treatment. But then uh, his situation uh, never got better. He died uh, in 1995. And then later, I have three children. I would like the court and everyone uh, to consider my situation, uh, a widow with five children. I have my children did not have uh, full concentration on the study because uh, they know our miserable situation. And we have endured all the sufferings. My family was in disarray because of uh, these regimes. Never, uh, ever a day uh, had we uh, had any uh, happiness in the family. We never uh, received any help uh, from anyone. We did not receive the warmth of the family. But I was so it was so painful for me, and I was so angry with that regime. And because of that regime, my, the, my entire family was destroyed. And the misery remained with my other five children, and who became orphaned till today. Personally, I have had some psychiatric problems with high hypertension as due to the shock, the terror repeatedly that I experienced from that vicious regime. I tried to so close to rest poultry in order to resolve our livelihood through such a hardship. I tried my best in order to be on my feet today and to be here today in order to find justice for my parents, my relatives, my grandparents, uncles and aunts. Today I am so excited that I am given the opportunity by this international court who crossed the oceans in order to come here to find justice for them and for the Cambodian people who died unjustly under that regime. Today, this is the day that I have been waited I've been waiting for more than 30 years with anxiety. Today, I would like to Summon the spirits of my parents, my uncles, grand uncles, aunts, and all the children, all the relatives, totaling in 22, 
who died under the regime to be here les 22 with me. Qui sont morts sous ce régime, in order to je les hear pour soient auprès de moi the prosecution by this court of the murderers and to find justice for you all en vue de trouver la justice. and in order to be sure that they will be judged when they die. Je suis sûr My respect to the court. I would like to make request to do all your honors with this, the International Court to judge fairly and justly in proportion to the gravity of the crimes that have committed, that they have committed inhumanely against the, the nation and the people with their torture and all other cruel acts, the loss of lives and justified that happened to my family cannot be repaired. I would not exchange just one life of my mother through a bucket of gold, let alone the 22 lives that were lost. The perpetrators and the co-perpetrators who killed my family members shall be punished severely and that they to be punished puni for the thousand years of their lives and that they should not be reincarnated as a human being. And I'd like to appeal to the true leaders of Democratic Campuchia. You are now very old, and this is the last, the final stage of your life. For that reason, you should be encouraged courageous to courage. collect all your strengths in order to shed light and tell the truth to all the victims and all the civil parties who are anxious to hear, to find justice and the truth, and why your regime exterminated the people. I would appeal repeatedly to all the organizations Je and the institutions throughout the world, as well as the generous donors, to continue providing support to the civil parties who are the victims in proportion to victimes. their big loss Contenu in order to reconcile their mentality, subis. their psychology, and their physical and emotional les beings. We are all of senior age and we are being haunted by all kinds of diseases. Et nous de de Finally, in my representation enfin, of all the civil parties in Sakandal district, Mukampu district, district and Vihisu district, I would like to make my final submission to this hybrid tribunal which has spent a, 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 a great deal of the budget and funds in order to find justice for the Cambodian victims, please conduct your investigation of the properties inside and outside the country which might belong to the accused, and if they were found to be guilty, their property shall be compensated to all the victims who had suffered for more than 30 years, or for more than 30 years. and this court cannot end its mandate in failure. You must endeavor how to find justice to the victims. victims. Mr. President, I'd like to put three questions to the accused. President, yes, you may do so. You, do so. you may put your questions through Vous me, the President of the Chamber, and I will agree that your questions through the accused. You may proceed. Je les adresserai ensuite aux accusés. This is my first question, and it goes to the two accused. I want to know that my mother and my elder brother, who had gold, but Ma they did not want to put it in the cooperative, is it the policy of the regime that they shall be prosecuted and executed for this act? And the number two, it goes to the 
true accused. Question adressée During the three year, eight month, and twenty days period, every night that you were sleeping jours, and embracing your wives in the air con or a fan room in the big building, did you ever imagine the situation of the Cambodian people who were crying out in the blood pond asking to the nature? what mistakes they made why they were killed de and they demand for justice did you ever imagine that and my third question to question both of you elle est adressée aux deux accusés. this morning you tried to respond matin, that you were not aware of the mass killings under the regime. De ces were had you ashamed of the younger generation that you were the supreme leaders and you Face knew nothing at all? Generation, n'avez-vous pas honte d'avoir soi-disant tout ignoré alors que vous étiez les hauts dirigeants? That's all, Mr. President. J'en ai terminé, Monsieur le Président. President. Thank you, Madam Hu Jianta. Merci, Madame Hu Jianta. I will now reiterate the questions, the three questions by the civil party to who the two accused. accused. First, to Kyu Sampan. Please respond to the questions put to you Je by the civil party. Je vous prie de répondre aux questions posées par la partie civile. President, good afternoon, Mr. President. Bon après-midi, Monsieur le Président. Jonas. Mesdames, Messieurs les juges. Good afternoon, the whole court. Bon après-midi. And good à afternoon, Madame Hu bon Chanta. À vous, Madame Hu Chanta. I have heard your statement. J'ai entendu votre and déclaration. I was shocked. Your statement is similar to that by the previous civil parties. J'ai été bouleversé par votre déclaration qui était semblable à celle des autres parties civiles. However, I would like to inform you Cela étant dit, that I am not Sachez the leader of the Democratic Cambodia. pas le dirigeant du Kampuchea démocratique. And I do not understand why such Je ne comprends things pas happened. Pourquoi ces choses se And sont passées? I respond to your question. This is a statement that I like to make it clear question, to you. Voilà ce que je tiens à dire clairement. I was promoted to be the president of the state to replace Samdai Sihanouk, who was Sambek the former Sihanouk, head of state. Qui était le chef Samdai Sihanouk, who was the Sambek former head of Sihanouk state, did not have any Executive authority. I was in a similar situation. Ma situation a été semblable à la sienne. And this is for your information, voilà. Madame Civil Party. Madame, pour votre information. Now allow me to respond to the présent, your questions one by one. À vos questions, une par une. Your question is that uh, that your mother and your father, your brother. Had gold, but did not de put them into the cooperative. And whether the law of the regime was to si execute the entire family. Des to me, that is incorrect. Pour moi, cela est incorrect. As I stated already, they only needed the Comme je dit, agricultural land and uh, products, for example, the land and the factory, so that they could be placed for common use in order to expedite the building of the country. Par exemple, 
pour and that's what accélérer I le développement of them speaking du pays. In the meeting, c'est ce que j'ai entendu that is lors des in réunions the meeting by the central committee. du comité central. But when it comes to the confiscation of personal belongings, like namely gold and diamonds, to me it's beyond my understanding. Je ne comprends pas. Now let go to your second question. Je passe à votre deuxième question. Allow me to tell you that I did not have any big villa Sachez to live in. Que je ne vivais pas dans une grande you villa. can go and witness it yourself in Thailand how my wife and I lived. Pour savoir dans quelles conditions ma femme et moi vivions. Mais ceci est une question mineure. Je dis cela pour votre information. And because you said that uh, being the leaders, why the vous leaders did not know anything and why and that rien, uh, we should be ashamed of the uh, younger generation. Honte devant la jeune But I repeatedly uh, tell you Mais I did not know anything répète, about that. Je I was pas au courant the head de quoi of que ce state, soit but it was of a nominal role. I did not have any executive authority. I only represented je an independent and sovereign Kampuchea. Un Kampuchea and that's the limit of souverain. it. Cela n'allait pas plus loin. Let me touch on another issue un autre that point. I was a member of the Central Committee. I was a candidate member S'agissant du comité Until central, j'ai été membre candidat jusqu'à fin 1975, début 1976. À ce moment-là, member. je suis devenu membre de plein droit. Although in the party statute, D'après it les statuts du parti, il est indiqué que le comité central constitue l'organe suprême party. de tout le parti. In the actual Cependant, practice, dans la pratique, and allow me to make it clear to you and clair, to all the Cambodian people as well as to the court, les Cambodians ainsi que pour les juges, this is existed only on paper. And also in the party statute, it also stated that le statut The Central Committee only convened twice per year. And that's the first point. And for the second point, for other members of the Central Committee, they were responsible for various bases, sectors, and zones. Only I, myself, was not responsible for any zone or sector, not even a small sector. Unit Je n'étais même pas military. responsable d'une moindre petite My unité de l'armée. Mon rôle consistait à assurer la liaison avec Samdek et à m'occuper de la distribution des biens dans les zones et les secteurs en fonction des demandes adressées et sous réserve committee. de l'approbation du comité permanent. Therefore, it is clear Par conséquent, that I could not know Il est clair the suffering que je and pas the misery as described by you. Que vous avez and you can put the question that I participated in the standing committee's meeting I did participate in the meeting me in my capacity si as the head of state, du comité permanent. as I needed to Je l'ai fait en tant que chef d'État chargé d'assurer la liaison avec les pays amis states. ou avec les chefs d'État des pays amis. I needed to know some matters concerning fait, the development of the country. And for that reason, I was asked to participate in that kind of meeting. And that kind of meeting 
was a broad meeting les réunions de ce type étaient des réunions for élargies. members like myself Regroupant Because for des certain meetings, I was not allowed to know. Réunions, and je pas there were a, a lot savoir. of meetings that were held, and I was not allowed to know. In particular, regarding the meetings concerning the arrest. Les and this is for your information. Je dis cela and it may res respond to your questions that why I keep saying I do not know about this or do not know Vous about that. Me demandez pourquoi. Je persiste à dire que je n'étais pas au courant de ceci ou de cela. Eh bien, voici ma réponse à votre intention et à l'intention de la nation. Je passe à votre troisième question moi-même les central committees meeting as i was asked to criticize and self criticize in order to talk about my class stand j'ai dû faire mon autocritique j'ai dû I parler de ma position de classe my capitalist stand je devais me débarrasser de ma posture capitaliste go and study in paris qui était lié à mes études faites à Paris, them, best, je leur ai dit que je faisais de mon mieux, element. mais que telle était ma nature. As, uh, morning, Comme l'a indiqué ce matin Nunchien, il fallait refaçonner certains éléments killed, et non pas des individus. Je n'ai pas été tué, mais ils n'ont pas pu me remodeler, car j'avais en moi ces éléments. And this is my response to you, voilà and I hope you understand that. J'espère que that vous me comprenez. J'espère que vous comprenez que je n'étais pas habilité à prendre and quelques décisions whenever, que ce soit. Me to know, they would only allow me to know to that limit, me faire and nothing certaines else. Choses, and this is my response to limites. your questions. Voici donc President, mes réponses à vos thank questions. you, Mr. Kirsten-Paul. The Merci, questions are now redirected. Les questions sont adressées to the accused Nunchia. And uh, you please respond to the questions put to you by the civil party. Veuillez répondre aux questions de la partie civile. Sonarun. Maître Sonarun. Mr. President. Monsieur le Président. And good afternoon, Madame la civil bon party. Bon après-midi, Madame la partie I civile. I am the counsel for Nunchea. Je suis l'un des avocats de Nunchea. This morning, my client Nunchea. Mon client responded uh, to the questions by the two civil parties. Aux questions posées par And les deux parties civiles. For this afternoon, he is exhausted. Quant à cet après-midi, he is il dizzy. Est épuisé. And he cannot think il straight. Il est pris de vertige et il n'a pas les idées claires. So for that reason, clair. he cannot consider your Et donc, questions clearly. And he informed me to inform the chamber that he reserves his right to remain silent at the assigned time that he is in a better position. Thank you. He souhaites exercer son droit de garder le silence tant qu'il ne se sentira pas mieux. President, we would like now to give the floor to the prosecution and to put the questions to the civil party. You may proceed. Mr. President, thank you very much. We have no questions. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Nous n'avons pas de questions à poser. Thank you. Le Président, merci. La parole est à présent donnée à la défense de Nunchea si elle a des questions à poser à la partie civile. Maître Sonarun, 
Mr. President, our Monsieur team do not have any questions for this third party. Thank you. President, thank le you. Président. Lastly, the floor Merci. is given to Kyo Sampan's defense. Est enfin donné à la défense de Consum on. Maître Thank you, Mr. Consum President. Good Merci, Monsieur le Président. Afternoon, Your Honours and everyone. Bon midi à tous. On behalf of my client, we do not have any questions for this full party. Nous n'avons pas de questions à poser à la partie civile. President, thank le you. Président. Court officer, Merci. could you update the bench Monsieur regarding the audio visual establishment through si uh, an internet with uh, our civil party in internet France? A été rétabli avec la France où se trouve la partie civile. President. Thank you, Madam Hu Chanta. Merci, Madame. The hearing Hu of Chanta. your statement of our suffering and impact and your testimony has now concluded. Sur vos you et may now be excused from the court. Vous le and prétoire. your statements of impact vos may contribute to ascertaining the truth in this case. You may return to your President, vous and we wish you all the best. Nous vous souhaitons bonne continuation. Officer, in collaboration with the VISU, please assist this civil party for her votre return à la civile to pour her residence or wherever she wishes to go to. Ou se rendre à quel autre we would also like to inform the parties and the public that we will continue Par to hear the Statement of sufferings has an impact by the civil party from France through a video link, which was interrupted France, earlier this afternoon. But we have been informed that the connection has been re-established. However, the time is appropriate for a break. We will Cependant, take a 15 minutes break and return at 10 past 3. L'audience reprendra à 15h10. Suspension de l'audience.